the Battle of Segale, fought on 27 October 1916, was a victory for the supporters of Empress Zorda Chu over those of Emperor Iyasu V of Ethiopia. Henza states that, Segale was Ethiopia's greatest battle since ADWA. Background the nobility of Ethiopia had grown uneasy with the rule of Emperor Iyasu V. At last, when Iyasu failed to observe the important religious holiday of Mescal in the capital Addis Ababa, instead he remained in the predominantly Muslim city of Hara, they decided to strike. A number of nobles met 17 days later on 27 September, and convinced Abuna Matawas to excommunicate a Yasu on the accusation that he converted to Islam, then announced on the steps of the palace that a Yasu had been deposed in favor of Empress Sordachu. The plotters had sent orders to Hara that a Yasu would be arrested, which went astray. Sources dispute exactly what Ali Jasus did next. Baru's Yuda states that Iyasu started to march on Addis Ababa, but his advance was blocked at Maso by 15,000 soldiers and he fled into the Afar Desert. Harold Marcus, drawing on the reports filed by the European diplomats, states that instead Lij Iyasu had sent one force towards the capital and did a Jasmish Gebra, and another, raised from loyal Afars in Somalis. To secure Diadawa, the Dajasmish went over to the opposing army and the Afars and Somalis deserted before reaching the city, and Iyasu fled with his bodyguard to Jijiga. Aleka Gebra Ixiabipa Elias's narrative supports Marcus in that Iyasu fled to the desert where his Afar supporters helped him. In either case, Hara failed him as a base of support and he took refuge in the desert. Battle. His father and most important supporter, Negus Mikhail of Wallo, was slow to march south upon the capital and restore Iyasu to the throne, not moving until the middle of October. Yet, when he did, the Negus crushed the troops sent against him. On 18 October, Negus Mikhail's troops defeated an advance force of 11,000 men in Menz and killed their leader, Raslul Sigurd, under the command of the regent Rastafari. And Fitorari Hataji Georgius, a force estimated to number between 25,000 and 35,000, marched north to do battle, and the two armies came to face each other at Segel on the 22nd. Afterwards, the then Rastafari stated that because bloodshed among Ethiopians themselves is extremely saddening, I arranged that monks from the monasteries of Debra, Libanus and Zequila should come with their crosses to request Negus Mikhail to go back to Wallow without making war. Negus Mikhail is said to have simply arrested these emissaries, ignoring their message. Negus Mikhail opened the battle early in the morning but his artillery was put out of commission by his opponent and his machine gunners ran out of ammunition. Aleka Gebra Ixiabipa Elias, drawing from eyewitness accounts, describes the battle opening with a charge of Negus Mikhail's infantry and cavalry. However, the Shuin troops had been trained to fire their rifles in rows and from the prone position, allowing them to fire in quick succession and felled them like leaves. Then the Shuins attacked and they pursued the army of Wello and took captives, and particularly the Shuan cavalry went from valley to valley and overran Negus Mikhail's camp at 3.25 p.m. One of the Shuan officers telephoned to the capital that they had won the battle. The dead are very numerous on both sides. Eleka Gebra Ixiabipa Elias explains one cause for this bloodshed was that the two sides did not differ in dress or insignia, and could only distinguish each other by their passwords, which were not always well known to the soldiers. Baru's Yuda succinctly comments, The Wallow forces were defeated. Negus Mikhail was captured. The coup of the 27th of September was now sanctioned by blood. Aftermath, Negus Mikhail defended himself in his corral until his defeat was undeniable when he surrendered. Amnesty was offered to the soldiers from the losing side, provided that they swear loyalty to the new empress. However, two of Negus Mikhail's chief lieutenants escaped the battle and vanquished. 
Ras Yima, who managed to rally some of the defeated army and lead them to Desi, and Fitoreri Sarabizu, who discarded his weapons in battle dress and slipped from the battlefield in the garb of a sick priest with a single servant, and met up with Ras Yima in Desi. The Jasmish Gebregzia Bipa who had been a lukewarm supporter of Negus Mikhail sat out the battle, but when the Negus surrendered and he attempted to flee back to Wello, the peasants of Aliyu Amber ambushed and killed him. As for the deposed Lijayasu, he had just reached Ankoba by the time the battle ended, he led his small army of 6,000 into the desert back to Desi. Arriving there the 8th of November and joining with Ras Yima and Fitoreri Sarab Bizu. When the Imperial Army reached that town the 10th of December, he fled further north to the old stronghold of Amber Marion. Further away from the center of power, Iyasu could not even slow down the consolidation of the new government, notes Harold Marcus. Weblink.